Hi, in this video, I will show you the six different ways how you can transfer photos and videos from the old iPhone over to the new iPhone. So whether you have an iPhone 4, 4S, 5, 6 or 7, 8, you can transfer them over to the new iPhone. Uh, this is the iPhone 11 Pro. So here's how you can uh, do it. So the one of the, uh, the way to do it is to use the iCloud backup and restore. So on the old iPhone, you want to go into settings and then go to um, iCloud and then tap on photos and then make sure you turn on iCloud photos and then choose download and keep original now go back so tap on the back here and then uh, now one of the things you may have to notice is that uh, iCloud storage now you can see here on my iCloud storage I have uh, 5 gigabyte maximum so check your iCloud uh, storage space make sure that they have enough space to upload the photos to the iCloud if your iCloud storage space uh, doesn't have enough space then uh, you may uh, the phone may not upload all the photos to uh, iCloud but uh, if your iCloud storage space is running out I can show you some other ways as well so uh, if you want to uh, continue to watch the videos so turn on iCloud on the old phone uh, so let's say that you have enough storage space so I can show you how much how you can check as well so in settings uh, you want to go down to uh, general and then on about uh, you can see in here you can see I have 49 photos so we want to go back uh, into uh, settings and I'm going to need, to need to look for storage iPhone storage here it is iPhone storage and then look at photos and then have a look at the size so this one here on this phone it's got 47.9 megabyte now I'm sure you're going to have a lot more than that if you have a lot of photos and videos mm, let's see if I can see if there's videos as well so this is just from the photos app so in this photo app it has all the photos and videos and a total size of 47.9 so that is uh, enough for my iCloud storage space so you can see here if I go to iCloud iCloud uh, storage space you can see here I have uh, enough uh, space you can also go into manage uh, storage to uh, manage the storage space as well up here so you can see I have backups that which I can remove I have some older photos on the cloud or which I can also remove so what you want to do is turn on I, um, iCloud photos on the old phone then go to the new phone and then on the new phone you also want to go and turn on iCloud so go into settings and in settings tap on your iCloud ID and then tap on iCloud and then tap on photos so in here you can see photos has already been uh, switched on but if it's uh, switched off then make sure it is switched on so turn them on and then what you want to do is tap on download and keep um, keep originals because if you're going to choose optimize iPhone storage it will copy a, a copy which is uh, in lower resolution so if you want to have the original resolution then you want to use uh, you want to choose download and keep uh, originals so make sure you choose that settings and then um, just wait for it to um, download to your phone now it might take some time uh, so depending uh, if you have already uh, turned on iCloud the old phone or not if you haven't turned on iCloud and if the if you have a lot of photos let's say if you have 10,000 of uh, photos then it can take some time so just wait for the photos and videos to sync to the cloud and from the cloud it will sync down to your new iPhone so that is one of the new um, one of the methods is using iCloud backup and restored so in photos here I can uh, tap on it and then uh, we just have to wait for it to sync it's still going to try to sync uh, photos so we just wait it will take some time to sync depending on how much photos you have so you try that first and if you don't uh, if you can't uh, transfer using the iCloud because your iCloud storage is running out of space then we can move on to the next solution okay so the second method that we're going to use is uh, to use the computer whether you want to use a Windows computer or a Mac computer uh, go and download the software called Tree U Tools and launch it now I'm just going to plug in the phone if they ask you to trust tap on the trust button on the phone just tap on the trust button 
and in here you can see uh, I can uh, uh, use this tool here uh, to perform backup or restore now you can click on iDevice and then click on photos over here and then in the camera row you can also uh, select the photos that you want to use uh, I can say select all the photos and then I can import photos or export so if I click on export it will allow me to save to the computer and later on when I plug in the new font I can uh, import the photos into the font now we're not going to use this method because it can take a while so what we want to do is going to use the toolbox so click on toolbox and then click on backup and restore so this is another method backup and restore and then click on customize backup and then in here in photos so we want to select photos only and then select any other things that we do not want to backup now if you do want to backup you can also back them up at this point and down here you can choose where to backup so this is the backup path of the file so take note of that and then click on the backup now button so it is uh, backing up so say backup has been succeeded so you we can view backup so this is the backup files the camera rolls so now it's backing up to the computer so we're just going to switch it off and I'm going to uh, plug in the new phone so I'm going to plug it into this phone here and then so I'm just going to close that and then we're just going to try to restore it okay so once you uh, plug in make sure you also uh, uh, tap on the trust button on the new phone and then uh, you can see here it's uh, telling you that you can uh, customize restore so click on that and then click on the file so this one here is say uh, iPhone 7 running iOS 13.1.2 and it tells you the backup time so if that's the recovery file because you can have multiple backup files so make sure you choose the right one and then click on start recovery and when it says photos it has photos in here that we can recover and then click on the restore now button so click on restore now and say so importing to camera row requires pick tools so waiting for you to agree to install pick tools to iDevice so I'm just going to click on I agreed and we just wait for the air installed so I'm just going to pause for now so on the phone you can see automatically install pick tools and it says it would like to access photos so I'm going to tap on OK and you can see it says import photos so we just wait for that to finish so it's importing um, 26 photos now if you have more then it will import more so on my phone I only have 26 so it will only import 26 in this case and on the computer it also shows the progress so I'm going to click on OK and say photos imported succeeded and then if I tap on photos on the new phone you can see uh, some photos have been uh, imported and that's it so that's how you can use these tools to um, um, backup and restore from old phone to, uh, to the new phone uh, so that's uh, solution number two next uh, we're going to move to the solution number three Okay, solution number three to copy files from old iPhone over to the new phone is to use AirDrops. Now, the AirDrop is quite useful. Let's say uh, your friends uh, takes a couple of photos with you, and now you want to transfer a file from your friend's phone to your phone, and they're quite useful. Or if you are having a party at your uncle's house or auntie's house, and they have uh, a lot of photos taken, and you want to have them, you can uh, quickly grab their phone and uh, transfer to your phone using AirDrops. So it's ideally um, for a few photos, not for ten thousand of photos. Uh, so to do so, you go. You need to go to your new phone and go into settings. So on the new iPhone, go into settings and then tap on General. Then tap on AirDrop. Uh, by default, it will choose contacts only. So if you are not in their contacts, you can choose everyone. So let's say if your phone is the new phone, uh, set to everyone just for now. And then once you finish the transfer, you can ch uh, change it back. 
and then on your old phone on the old iPhone uh, tap on uh, photos and then I'm going to select so select the photos that you want to transfer over so let's say I want to um, select this uh, photos so so I want to uh, transfer all these uh, selected photos and then tap on this button here so on the arrow button so tap on that and then tap on airdrop and then it say no people found so I'm just going to go back here and make sure it is uh, turned on so now it's detecting because the phone was uh, somehow not showing so I'm just going to unlock it to make sure so now it's showing devices iPhone so I'm going to choose on that and then we're just waiting for this phone so this phone just alerted me so I say sent and over here you can see it pops up on this new phone already straight away and there it is so it transferred instantly over to the uh, new iPhone so that is another way is to use airdrop so you can uh, drop files uh, from your old iPhone over to the new phone so that is another method Okay, so previously I told you what happened if your iCloud is running out of storage because it only gives you 5 gigabytes of free storage. So your phone might have uh, been running out of storage. So what you can do is to um, download um, this app here called Drive. Google Drive is an online storage uh, from Google. They provide you 15, uh, 15 gigabytes of free data. So here I have already downloaded. You can go to the App Store and download uh, Google Drive so just type in Google Drive and you can download it so here it is so Google Drive sorry wrong spelling so drive here it is so just install this app from the App Store so Google Drive I already uh, installed it so I can just uh, open it now you need to sign in before you can start using it because it needs an account uh, to upload to and you can see if I tap on the menu key and then tap on storage you can see uh, by default I have free 15 gigabytes now you have the option to purchase more uh, if you wanted to so you can see have some uh, plan that you can upgrade to I'm not going to buy any more storage that's uh, it's more than enough for me so um, what you want to do is open up that app drive and uh, from here you can tap on the plus icon or the add icon at the bottom and then choose uh, upload and then choose photos and videos and then it say it want to access your photos just tap on ok and then you can see in here so open up the albums uh, that you want to upload so let's say I want to upload uh, some of the photos you can select all of the photos to upload if you wanted to I'm just going to choose some to uh, save time so I will choose maybe just four photos and then tap on the upload buttons and it's a uh, processing uploads so now again you have 15 gigabytes to upload if you have more than 15 gigabytes of photos or videos you probably want to upload the first batch and then on your new phone download them first and then delete them from the cloud and then you can upload uh, the second batch and the third batch and so on until you uh, successfully um, transfer all your photos over to your phone okay so on the new iPhone again you need to download the same app and you need to sign in with the same account drive so um, download the app installed and sign in with the same account and it's probably still trying to upload so you can see here some photos that I have selected it is now syncing over to the new phone and from here you can uh, uh, download you can uh, download the, the files so let's say this one here I can open it from the cloud uh, it says save to camera roll you can uh, save the file you can download them so maybe there's an option so you can uh, download the whole folder so in here you can uh, uh, select multiple files so let's see if they give you the option to select multiple files because it's a bit tedious to um, download uh, uh, one by one so you probably can select multiple files and then download them to your phone so another option is to use um, a different storage uh, provider such as Google Drive or Dropbox uh, for instance and then you can uh, 
uh, upload to the cloud drive and then on your new phone download them again so a bit tedious but it works and sometimes when you don't have access to the computer or if your iCloud storage is running out of space then you can use this uh, method okay another way you can do it is to uh, this is solution number five is to um, post it to a messenger app so here I've got uh, Facebook installed so uh, Facebook and you can open up and then uh, sign in okay so I have installed messenger and Facebook so you just need messenger so just on messenger and then you can choose uh, photos that you want to send so uh, tap on send and then you can just basically select all the photos that you want to send not an ideal solution but when you're running out of options then you may want to try it uh, this one can take a while because it need to upload to Facebook if you've got 10,000 photos this method will take forever so you might want if you have no other options and you need to do this then make sure you just select the best photos the one that you really need to keep and then just send through your messengers and uh, just wait for it to um, upload and then on your phone you can uh, simply uh, uh, open up messenger and then view it so here I got messenger so I'm just gonna open it up so basically just uh, send it to yourself you can see the photos coming in and then later you can uh, simply uh, download it to your phone so you can save save it back to your phone so yeah this I this solution is not ideal but you know if you have no other options uh, it's worth a try okay and our solution the last one uh, is to use uh, and uh, use uh, an, ex an external drive so this is a sandisk drive that you can plug in uh, to the phone so with this one here you can uh, simply plug into the lightning port right here on the old phone and you need to also download an app so the sandisk uh, you can purchase them online for maybe $50 to $100 uh, depending on your regions uh, I'm in uh, uh, Australia so the price is around $50 to $100 so if you're in the US uh, it, it is uh, probably a lot cheaper so all you have to do is just purchase this device and you can plug it into your phone and you need an app so you just download this app here called iExpand Drive and that's what it's called iExpand Drive and you can also tap on it and then you can uh, perform a quick backup and then in the backup you could choose uh, videos or photos that you want to backup so let's say I'm going to want to browse photos so you can see here if I tap on uh, you can simply just plug it in you can plug in the drive as you can see you can just plug in the drive and then uh, in here using the file uh, manager from iExpand and you can uh, select photos so you can select the photos and then with the photos you can then uh, copy to the drive and then you can plug the drive into the new phone and then uh, import it back into the new phone so that um, device is quite useful uh, I do not have one at the moment but you can purchase them and if you're going to purchase them it might take some time so if you if your local store actually sells them you can go and grab it but you know um, using the computer or using iCloud Drive or using some other drive is a lot quicker than having to go and purchase one of this but if you're running out of options and this is the last resort then try to go and buy this one it's, it's, uh, uh, if you have 10,000 photos it's probably quite quick if to uh, copy to the disk and then um, move the disk to the new phone and then uh, import it into your new phone so those are the six different uh, solutions uh, to transfer photos over from your old iPhone over to the new phone. Now I hope this uh, video helps and I hope at least one of the, one of the options can help you out uh, in uh, successfully transferring uh, photos and videos over to your new iPhone. Thank you for watching this uh, videos. Uh, please subscribe to my channel for more videos.